Well, Cinco de Mayo is coming up next week, and many will want to celebrate by either dining in or getting carryout. And there is one restaurant in southwest Detroit that has been a favorite of the community for over 50 years. Our Michelle Oliver takes us to dine in the D at Armando's. Whether you crave their enchiladas or their signature Mexican sandwich, Armando's has been dishing up people's favorites since 1967. Armando Galan, the original owner of the restaurant, uh, started in 67 with a little taqueria. It was just one storefront, and as business grew, he added and bought the adjacent storefronts. So today we have the entire block, almost the entire block for Armando's. Armando's got so popular, he wanted to open up other restaurants outside of Detroit. That's where Cecilia Benedict and her family come in. My mother, before being a cook, she used to come and clean at, in the evenings. So I'd come in and I'd sleep in a booth while she's doing her work. My mom worked with Armando in his kitchen as a cook. And at that point, he offered the restaurant to my mother, which then she became owner and he went on to do other businesses. So I've always been somewhat a part of Armando's as far back as the 70s. While it had new owners, they knew to keep what made Armando special. I don't want to change everything. I just want to make it more efficient. People are familiar with it. I don't want to change the black velvet paintings because people love them, the tiger wall. You know, those kind of memories, I don't want to change that. And that goes for the food as well. Our food is traditional to what Armando Galan had started with some of Detroit's influence in it. For instance, the batana and the Mexican sandwich. To see what she means, let's take a look at the menu. And we'll start with the appetizers. This is the most classic one. Armando himself created it. It's called the Botana. So what it is is layers of chips with cheese. You have chorizo, beans, plus all of these nice big veggies on top. Moving from a classic to something that's really popular right now, here are their birria nachos. So birria is a style of doing their meat. It's stewed for a long time in a bunch of different chilies and tomatillos, so it gets nice and tender. It's put on top of a bunch of chips with cheese and it's topped with cilantro and onion. Sticking with that popular birria meat, you can also get it as an entree in this case of birria. If you've been on Instagram, you've probably seen this. So what it is, is a tortilla that's stuffed with cheese and the birria meat and you dip it in this lovely beef consomme. Now, of course, they also have your staples. Here are their enchiladas. You can get them stuffed with either cheese or meat, and they come with a side of rice and beans. Another classic to Armando's is this Mexican sandwich. It's layers upon layers of tortillas, rice, and beans. It's topped with this chunky stewed beef and Munster cheese. If you're looking for something maybe a little bit lighter, check out these Baja tacos. So it's sauteed shrimp, scallops, onions, and bacon, and it's topped with some cheese, put in a flour tortilla, and you can finish it off with the pico de gallo. And if you can't really decide what to get, why not get one of their combo platters? This is their tampequeña, and what you see on here is grilled steak done in a very fajita-like style. It also comes with a taco, an enchilada, and of course, rice and beans. And finally, to finish off your meal, we have the Tres Leches Cake. Michelle, 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 the food looks so good. What did you think of the birria taco? So I really loved it. I, have you seen this online, Tati, the, I have. on Instagram? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you basically, you take the taco and you dip it into this sauce and eat it. I think it's nice, refreshing. You still get that nice savory cheese and meat taste, but the sauce and the onions and cilantro that it's served with really like brighten it up and make it delicious. I love it. Yeah, did you put some of that lime on there or is that just garnish? You know, I need every I, greedy person de it, detail I, from you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think I, I mostly just dipped it into the sauce. And there's two sauces there. I dipped it in both of them because I wasn't really sure which one I was supposed to dip it in. Uh, but I, I don't think I actually squeezed the lime on it. Okay. But I don't think that would have hurt. I think it would have tasted better or just as good if I did that as well. Nice. The more sauce, the merrier, right? Yes. All right. So Cinco de Mayo is coming up. Are they doing anything special? Not in the same way they would have other years, but they are opening up 
especially. So right now they're only doing dine-in service uh, Thursday through Sunday, but they're opening up especially for Cinco de Mayo next Wednesday. So they'll have be open for dine-in service from 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. And they of course also have carryout from 10.30 to 10. Very nice, so any outdoor dining? Oh yes, yeah. so this place has some really cool outdoor dining. So these are the luminarias. They were put up by the Southwest Detroit Business Association. They're very cool kind of glass steel huts. They light up beautifully at night, which I believe we have a picture of next. Mm. Yep, there it is. Isn't that cool? It I is. think that'd be, it's, it's chic dining. Anyway, so they have this, they open up also come summertime so that they'll let the breeze in. But then they also have a regular patio as well. You do not need a reservation for these. Uh, just call ahead, see if you can get them. That kind of that kind of thing. I guess that's kind of a reservation, but just not, not super exactly. formal. I got you. <laughs> yeah, I got you. All right. So where are they located again? They're located at 4242 Werner Highway in Southwest Detroit. It's right across the street from Clark Park. Perfect, Michelle. Thank you so much. Thank you. So if you love all things foodie related in Metro Detroit and you want restaurant recommendations and behind the scene chats with fellow foodies, sign up for the Dine in the D newsletter. It's sent straight to your inbox every other Thursday. To sign up, look for the newsletter tab at the top of clickondetroit.com. So much good information. Um, on that newsletter there for you. And while you're online, you should join our Dine in the D group on Facebook. That way you'll always be in the know for where the best food is in Detroit. And if you drop Michelle a message on a place that you like, you never know, she might go and do a piece on it and check them out herself.